Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit, a bit of blackmail. Black just, just his style. style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at Mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. Grr. I saw them topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. That, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Really? Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the... Oh, please, no. A priest helped me contact the Rodanian witch hunters. Righteous. Oh, Brave good lord. Men. No, 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 no. They're, They're just gonna kill your mother. the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of... Alright, I instantly don't life. like her anymore. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Rude. Wow, I really don't like this guy either. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity, stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Alright, that's fair, Dermator, but still, I don't have to like Glad it. You know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Yeah, don't be a Granted. rude face. Witch Hunter in the service of his Oh, I knew I didn't like him. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Mm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. 
The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. She's gonna get jacked so hard by this church. I feel bad for her. Can I at least keep the kitty? I like the kitty. Hi, Nibbles. How are you? Oh my god, I'm a fashion disaster! Ah! That's better. Okay. Oh. All right, now that everyone's left, let's loot this place. Do it yourself. You do it yourself. You loot your own place. All is prepared. We await only your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment and zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at once. At first, you will be put through preliminary training, but you already know how to ride and wield a blade and thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much time. As soon as you don our colors, we will set out in search of your mother, and we will find her, I promise, even if we have to comb every inch of Velen. So she's either joining the church or the witch hunters, or it seems more likely that the witch hunters are specific, like, sect or part of the church, so... Definitely gonna clash with those people plenty. Ah, uh, no, we'll find stuff as we find it. Not so concerned about it. I talked to him, Slim. He didn't have any armor. What's up, Akengorp? Don't you dare go to sleep right now. Don't you dare, Akengorp! Bath time for Geralt! Oh god, am I stuck? yourself books. Damn it, Akingor! You are not allowed to go to sleep. We're gonna be like a, a ship without a captain, uncontrolled and wild. Stay out of my way. A bar? Sign me up at once, my good man. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You there. We don't serve rushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a, um, any of the people from that list? Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. Shavers? So what did they do to you, the students from... Rather not talk on it, alright. <laughs> What's your poison, Gwent? You play Gwent? Not with just anybody, and always for high stakes. With you, right? Oh, this is the innkeeper. Uh, we should save first, because he's going to whoop our butt. No, what? We'll play later. Although we just beat someone who oh, was sporting a hand with you. double scorches and three heroes. Just saying. Mind if I have a look? We can at least try our luck. Oh, here we go. Scoyatel cards. Another commander's horn. Nice. That, that, that. Actually, I think I have some of those. So long. All right. Let's see how badly this guy beats me. A round of Gwent. Stakes, always. I'll play on your terms. 
stern ruler, but a just one. So we just got another commander's horn. So you know what? Let's nix one of these for the commander's horn. Because they're versatile. They're, like, going to always be something that's really useful. Oh, crap. Never mind. We can't do that. Herp! Um, Derminator, I don't have those alcohols. I need those for alchemy. I have yet to find a single of any of those alcohol. Alright, I'm liking the look of this starting hand. Good so far. What can I say, Akengorp? Two seconds is later. Same. I really hope I get a decoy. Damn shame. Didn't get a decoy, didn't get our medic. Alright, so he passed, so this is a free round. All we need to do is add... Oh, he's Nilfgaard. What is his? Cancel your opponent's leader ability. Oh, so that means I straight up can't use my leader? Well, I guess it's a good thing we got our war horns then. Um, so to win, we need to come up with six points. So it looks like using a siege weapon is just going to be our best bet. It's just a free victory. Kind of free. Correct, Derminator. White Gull. And there was one other alcohol as well, but I don't recall right now what it was. All right, let's go with some like uh, some archers. Let's see what he does. We don't have card advantage here, so if it comes down to like a straight out slug out fest, we might win, depending on what he has. We we'll want to avoid playing these guys until the very end if it comes to that. And same with playing our really big siege engines. So let's throw out some archers, see what happens. It does, Derminator. If anything, the only reason I want to make them is just so that I've made the recipe at least once. Just for the sake of making them. So. Whoa, who is that? God, I wish I had a decoy. No, I don't want to... Oh, hey, look, it's a Yennefer. Okay. Okay. Why do you have Yennefer? I should just punch him out. How dare you touch my woman? Woman? Hi, 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 woman. Okay, so if he does have a Scourge, this will be immune to it. So we still want to try and keep something low out on the field. The highest thing he has currently is six. So let's put out one of these, but not the other. The other thing we can do is we can always throw down Frost, and then put him out, and then at the end we can clear it. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna see if we can scam it. Every person we've gone against who has like any, any kind of skill whatsoever so far in this game has had a Scorch or two, in addition to having several heroes. Okay, so he's got the huge card advantage. We are in a big, big way of trouble here. Oh, shit. Witness the power of Nilfgaard? What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you trying to say? If we keep sixes on the field, that means he'd have to burn one of his cards, too. Which I think he'd be very much okay with, but... I am definitely missing my hero power, though, because we were just gonna hit up every row with that. And it would have been glorious! This guy has three or four medics. I'm seeing that. 